Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, come to that secret place alone with me today, for it is there that you will find the answers to the questions that you are currently looking for. Learn to speak to me daily, for just with simple faith is going to make a difference. Yes, simple acts of faith, that you will see great doors open to you. See, your solution for today lies there in your faith, my child. And as you step out believing in the finished work of my cross, you will see greater things. So today, my child, Try to handle things in a simple way by surrendering all your cares to me. Keep your eyes upon me and the promises that I have for you and you will see the obstacles grow small before you as I will make a way where there seems no way, my child. I have already moved on your behalf. Yes, even though in the natural it looks impossible, And as you look around, all you see is closed doors that are literally shut before you. But be not anxious, my child, about this, for I am going to open new doors as you walk by faith, my child. Remember, when you submit to me in total surrender, you will also have greater authority to resist the devil, causing him to flee. And as the devil cannot knock you down if you're already on your knees, my child, know that humbling yourself has more power than you think. But I am calling you to walk by faith today and not by sight anymore, my child. See, I know that you have been trusting me on a particular issue, but it seems that the heavens have been shut and closed to you. But I will open the heavens once more, my child. So the next time when you don't get an answer in your timing and the prayer seems to take a longer time coming, don't give up, my child, but rather persist in prayer with your face set towards heaven. And the breakthrough will surely come when you push in prayer. The enemy will do everything to discourage you from praying that he can stop you from praying altogether. He will tell you that there is no point praying, that I am not listening, that your prayers are not being answered, that you're praying a wrong way. But be encouraged today that you are doing the right thing and that you are a real threat to the enemy for the hindrance to come in the first place. Yes, as you persist in prayer, as you learn to push in prayer, your breakthroughs shall come to pass. Remember, my child, I am for you, not against you. Therefore, put your trust in me and not in the things that are happening around you at present. But know that I'm going to do a new thing with you this day if you will just trust me. Be at peace. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Isaiah 63, verse 13 to 14, it says, Who led them through the deep as a horse in the wilderness, that they might not stumble as a beast goes down into the valley and the spirit of the Lord causes him to rest. So you lead your people to make yourself a glorious name. Precious saints, the Holy Spirit wants to give us rest today. And according to Joshua 21 verse 44, And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their fathers, none of their enemies could stand against them. For the Lord delivered all their enemies into their hands. Somebody say, Hallelujah. And according to Haggai 2 verse 5, This is the promise I made to you when you came out of Egypt and my spirit remains among you, do not be afraid. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Do you want rest? Do you want true 
genuine, deep rest, then you need to understand that rest and true, genuine, deep rest comes from the spirit of the living God. And when you sense that rest is gone, then you need to seek the spirit of the living God and look carefully also at your lives to see if we have abandoned the spirit's influence within our lives. Now, the Bible says, according to Ephesians 4 verse 30, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Precious saints, when we sin, when we deliberately and inadvertently behave in a way that is grieving to the Holy Spirit, it grieves him in the same way that a loving parent is grieved when his or her child behaves in a self-destructive manner. Precious saints, you need to understand how sensitive the Holy Spirit is. Now, according to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 19, do not quench the Holy Spirit. We can quench it. We can grieve the Holy Spirit. You don't want to quench the Holy Spirit, but rather you want to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So if you find that you have no rest at present, then you may have to look at your relationship with the Holy Spirit because it's only through the Holy Spirit we understand. See, the Spirit brings rest to our souls. So let's seek to be attentive and also responsive to the Spirit's guidance and leading within our lives, not only today, but also within our lives, precious saints, because we are living in the last days. The devil will send every attack possible to try to come against you. And the only peace that you're going to find is in and through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, if you don't have peace in your life, if you don't have rest in your life, then you need to go back and find out what happened with your relationship with the Spirit of the living God. You need to look carefully at our lives to see if we have abandoned the Spirit's influence within our lives. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, we pray today as we come before your throne of grace through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we repent of every word or thought or deed that has been done that is not of you. Oh, Father, we thank you that you would please use your spirit also to minister to us, even when we sleep, so that we can receive the full blessing of rest and refreshment only that can become and also come from you. By the power of your spirit within us, strengthen us so that we can live with passion without stumbling. Turn our hearts to follow the direction and leading of your spirit today so that when we come up against the attacks that might come our way, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, for Lord, for each time that we have given our time, our finances, our materials. Lord, we pray today that if we have given, Lord, it shall not be given in vain, but Lord, it shall be pressed down, shaken together and running over. Lord, we declare today that we are givers and we are not those that don't give, but we have a generous heart. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked. The curse is broken and we do not live under a closed heaven, but we live under open heavens today where you promise that you will pour out upon us, Lord, such blessings that cannot be contained and we receive it today, Lord, as we receive new jobs, as we receive better jobs, as we receive raises, bonuses, sales, commissions, Lord, benefits and settlements, estates, inheritances, interest and income, debates and returns, checks even in the mail. Lord, I pray, Lord, for gifts and surprises, bills to be paid, debts to be paid 
paid. Lord, houses to be paid off, royalties to be received. Lord, we thank you today. Lord, we thank you for every promise that you have for us. And our greatest desire is for our whole family to be saved and walking with God in perfect help, abundance, and walk in divine favor, divine health, and blessings. Lord, that we shall be blessed going in and we shall be blessed going out in all we do, it shall prosper. And I declare and confess over each person's life that from today, that each person will begin to operate and live under open heavens, that God will open the heavens unto each person and over their families. We declare today that every area of our life will begin to manifest the blessings that are evidence of an open heaven. Lord, I pray for an open heaven that will cause revival to come as your people cry out in deep repentance and cry out, Lord, with their open heart, Lord, as we press in and push through. Spirit of the living God, thank you for the word that you send to us each day to renew our mind. And we thank you for the breakthrough that lies ahead of us and victory that you've given to us. Father, we thank you for giving us great news regarding, Lord, regardless of the pressing and the shaking brought by life's challenges that may be around us today. We thank you for your supernatural power that releases one from unending chains of slavery to the enemy. We thank your Holy Spirit. You will take preeminence this day and manifest your power over all that we do. Lord, give us the grace to always live and to move as a conqueror regardless of what life throws at us today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today you will uproot from our life every indecision that might want to keep us in a dark place in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, deliver us from every member of our family from strange fires. Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, please deliver your church from strange fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver your church from strange fire. Father, let your presence saturate the community, Lord, that we may reside in and everyone that comes in contact with us will know that it is Jesus living with inside of us. Father, we thank you for all that we do and we lay our hands upon shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that righteousness will be established, that justice will be established as you go and sit on that throne. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, for each person right now, let every challenge, hindrance and obstacle of getting these prayers, Lord, to people today be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I come against each person that has been lying about each person that has been spreading gossip and malice and so forth. Lord, that you will close the mouth of the lion in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, you shall not touch your anointed or do your prophet no harm. Lord, I declare and decree today, your people will prosper. They will move into advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today that every foul spirit, you will come under the obedience of Christ today. I command every foul spirit, I look you in the eyes right now and I command you to stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command you that you will manifest yourself right now. Every foul spirit, you will manifest yourself right now and come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every unclean spirit, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ and you will come out of that person right now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit of infirmity. You will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deaf and dumb spirit, I command you right now. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ and I command you to come out of them right now right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man, I bind you right now. I bind you with a threefold cord as according to Ecclesiastes uh, 4.12. Lord, we bind you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and we command you strong man to come out of them right now and go back to the pit of hell right now.
out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil spirit operating in their life, Lord, I pray and I command you, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ and I command you to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out of them, go back to the pit of hell, go back to the pit of hell, go back to the pit of hell, go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now, Holy Ghost, you will come and touch your people today from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, that you will baptize them in an open heaven. You will bring an open heaven of blessings. You are the ancient of days. Everlasting Father, we worship your majesty and honor you for who you are today and magnify your name for all this wonderful day with the privilege that we can live to speak your word. Ancient of days, we thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. But I pray for the salvation of souls to come into your harvest. Come and baptize your people with fire now. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Come and fill your people. Come and fill them with peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you're the God of the turnaround. You're going to turn around the situations taking place and use it for your glory. Lord, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will turn every bad situation around and use for our glory today as an open heaven is coming down upon your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch your people. Come and release them from every bondage that is stopping them. Lord, get their eyes back on you today that the anointing of the Holy Ghost will come upon them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for revival. We thank you for an awakening that is coming, that is stirring up the saints that are pressing in through prayer and fasting and also generosity and also righteous living and obedience to your word. Lord, I pray that you would stir up your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch them today. Come and touch your people. Come and touch your people. Come and touch your people today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Repentance Revival in Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance. Repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance and prayer today, we encourage you to send it to a friend today that may need to hear it. You can follow us or subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also uh, join one of our WhatsApp groups around the nations. Just send us an email. We'll send you the link for you to be able to join in your particular nation as we stand in agreement believing God is going to do a powerful thing within this hour precious saints we have the corporate Friday fasting every Friday you can just join with us to fast on that particular day and seek the Lord in intimacy to know him more precious saints we also have the four day program for prayer and fasting to get on fire for God and be the intercessor that he has called you to be, which is at the end of July, end of this month. It's less than nine to eight days away, precious saints. So I encourage you to press in and prepare for that also. Starts on the Thursday, finishes on the Sunday evening. So you can do that. And don't forget, we are coming to South Africa to start off our African tour and at this stage you'll be in South Africa, Namibia, Kenya and Uganda. So all plans are underway now and we're coming uh, to South Africa. We're going to start it off. We may even start in Pretoria first which is on the 4th, 5th or 6th of one of those days. We'll start a meeting and also we'll be in East London for three days. We'll also be back in Johannesburg. Now Johannesburg meeting, I encourage all the international people to come along to that because we have a thousand plus people venue and God is going to spread and spark revival in a powerful way. For those that really hunger for revival, make sure that you come. If you have the resources, you are welcome. It's in a very good venue, a very good massive uh, conference center, which you can get accommodation at also. And it is 
awesome place to come and seek the Lord, especially as we are believing and contesting within this hour that God would render the heavens and that they would pour down. Now, may the Lord bless you. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom. 